A CV30, next generation amphibious vehicle armed with 30mm gun for US Marines. The U.S. Marine Corps has laid out plans to introduce the ACV-30, the version of its new amphibious combat vehicle armed with a 30mm cannon. The ACV-30 reflects broader trends within the U.S. military to upgun existing and future armored vehicles, something that has only become more relevant in light of battlefield lessons from Ukraine. Tim Hawk Commander and Program Manager for Advanced Amphibious Assault PMAAA at the U.S. Marine Corps explained that the ACV-30 is now in developmental testing, with three production representative test vehicles PRTVS from manufacturer BAE Systems having been received. The current program of developmental testing is planned to lead to operational testing in the second quarter of FY 2025 before the ACV-30 enters production. Hawk said he was confident of production starting also in FY 2025, followed by delivery of the first six series manufactured vehicles in FY 2026. This is the one that gets all the love, Hawk observed, in his discussion of the four different mission role variants of the ACV. It's got the biggest cannon, and everybody seems to gravitate toward it. The mission role variants comprise the baseline version of the ACV, the ACVP personnel carrier, with a crew of 3 and up to 13 Marines. The ACVC command and control variant, and the ACVR recovery variant. The ACV-30's MK-44 Stretch Bush Master Dual Fed Cannon will be the largest direct fire gun in the Marine Corps' inventory, following the service's divestiture of its M1 Abrams tanks. The USMC does have other 30mm guns, such as those on the Marine Air Defense Integrated System Mattis vehicles, but these are smaller, less powerful weapons based on the gun used in the AH-6 for Apache. Previous plans to field a 30mm cannon on the Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle EFV came to an end when that program was cancelled. What I will tell you is this is a critical, critical capability for the Marine Corps, Hawk continued. It is the largest weapon system that supports infantry maneuver on the battlefield following the reconfiguring of the Marines under the Force Design Initiative, which also saw it give up its tanks. On the ACV-30, the MK-44 cannon is allied with sighting systems that can detect targets well out beyond 5 kilometers, 3.1 miles. These kinds of ranges are well beyond what we're seeing now with the ACVP that has a remote weapon station armed with an M to Browning .50 caliber machine gun heavy machine gun or a 40mm grenade launcher. In May 2020, Norway's Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace revealed that it had been selected by BAE Systems to design and manufacture the remote medium caliber turret MCT for the ACV-30. The 30mm version of this turret, the MCT-30, had previously been adopted by the US Army for its Striker Brigade in Europe and has been fielded on this service's infantry carrier vehicle, Dragoon ICVD variant since 2018. The turret is remotely controlled and operated from a protected position inside the vehicle compartment. The MK-44 cannon is fed with linkless ammunition. As we noted when plans to upgun the ACV were first announced, the Marines are only adding the 30mm turret to the ACV-30 version, leaving the ACVP with its standard armament of a single .50 caliber machine gun or 40mm grenade launcher in the remote weapon station turret. Current plans foresee the Marines receiving a total of 175 ACV-30s, which will be operated alongside 390 ACVPS, 34 ACVRS, and 33 ACVCs. As it stands, 
deliveries to the Marines comprise 187 vehicles, 138 ACVPS, and two ACVCs to the 3rd Assault Amphibian Battalion, and 46 ACVPS, and one ACVC to the Assault Amphibian School. Overall, call. Hawk painted an optimistic picture of the ongoing introduction of the ACV family, which he described as a 21st century digital wheeled platform. That will provide a full replacement for the AAV, which he likened to an analog, armored Winnebago. As this process continues, another milestone just around the corner will be the fielding of the first ACVPS in Okinawa, Japan, bringing much needed modernization to the Pacific Theater. Here. The Marines are rapidly preparing for a potentially huge conflict with China in which amphibious capabilities will be at the forefront. When the Super AV 8x8 was selected as the basis of the ACV it was noted, including by TWZ, that the new vehicle would not be able to swim any faster in the water than the veteran AAV. In terms of firepower, the basic ACVP has the same Kongsberg remote weapon station as found on the AAV, making it a relatively straightforward process for gunners to transition to the new type. Mobility-wise, Hawk rates the ACV as similar to the AAV, apart from being slower in the water. Its ability to operate in conditions of high surf, up to six feet in certain scenarios, is equivalent to the AAV, but where it shines is on land, Hawk explained, noting that 85% of its operational mission profile is on terra firma, not in the water. With the uparmed ACV-30 now waiting in the wings, the Marines' latest amphibious assault vehicle is going to offer valuable additional firepower to those soldiers, something that is especially important as the service continues to recalibrate, moving away from counterinsurgency campaigns to the high-end fight of the future.